For my second step, I am using this one-time lightweight spackling to fill in the holes where the knots are in the cabinets. On the package it says that you don't actually have to sand it, but I find that if you want a really smooth finish, sanding does make it better. It doesn't shrink, and um, I like that it's white, just so it's easier to see if you've sanded off enough of the excess. Uh, one thing, after a while it started to get kind of dry, but all I did is I just added a little bit of water and now it's totally fine and it goes on very smooth. So all you really do is you use a little putty knife, you get some of it on there and then you just scrape it, you put it on and then you push and scrape off the excess. Remember what we're going to come do is later on, after it's completely dry, we're going to come back and sand it to make sure that there's no little hills. Some of the ones that are deeper, like this one, I'll have to come back and do another coat of it so that it can be flush with the rest of the cabinet. I already did this and I've sanded it down, but since I'm doing kitchen cabinets, I want to make sure that, they're, that it's covered really well. So. I just put up on a little bit with my knife, putty knife. I want to scrape most of it off, but just leave just enough so that when you come back and sand that there's not a depression.